All right, we've made it to Utah. Uh, me and Seth drove through the night, all night last night to get here for this morning. So we'd have a full day of scouting in before the season opens tomorrow. Seth and Nate both have muzzleloader tags. Uh, Nate will be joining us Thursday is the plan. He has uh, he had work and some family stuff. So as soon as he can break, break away, then he's gonna come down and join us. Seth just killed a buck. <laughs> he's at maybe 50 yards. 50 yards. Yeah, he's at 50 yards. <laughs> he was just looking straight at him and he just punched him. I think he's a small, well, not small. He's a four pointer. I think he's 40 yards. <laughs> Man. I, I did not have the camera on yet. I was. I haven't even got to use our freaking nice camera yet this trip, man. I've just been using the GoPro the whole time. It's so dusty, too, that I haven't been wanting to use the nice one. I've been riding around on the Ranger scouting, and we're covered in dirt. Well, let's go see how much blood is down here. <laughs> I told you I thought he turned and went down this way. Yep. <laughs> when I saw you throw your gun up, all of a sudden I'm like, what the heck is he? Oh, he's not kidding me. I was going to be like, oh, it's just a doe. <laughs> there he is, dude. Four by four down. Opening morning. And we literally just stumbled across him. <laughs> so... I feel like as a hunter, you develop like a style of hunting that you do that you like or that you're good at, and this is not that style for us. <laughs> we are very used to hunting big open sage country. We've gotten good at that, using big glass, finding bucks, putting stocks on in big open country. This is thick oak brush and PJ, pinion. So, we uh, we might have had a little bit of luck on this one that we literally just kind of stumbled across him and said, said, okay, he's going down. It's the first buck we've seen that hasn't been just a little tiny forked horn. We saw a few of those this morning, ton of does. Um, yeah, a little three by three last night during scouting, you know, right at dark as we were heading out. But he was much smaller than this one. Um, I'd say he's probably, yeah, about 18 inches, 18 inches wide, 4x4. Four four. Had crabby little front forks, but 
Pretty cool buck, nonetheless. Good job, dude. Now I guess we just got time to kill and go do some scouting and see if Nate's still coming on tomorrow night. He's supposed to get here. Two, and Nate is driving here as we speak. Um, should hopefully make it this afternoon so we can get in the evening hunt. Uh, me and Seth have been scouting ever since we got his buck taken care of, and we've seen a few bucks, decent ones, uh, three pointer last night, and then this morning we saw a pretty good four pointer right out of camp. So maybe he'll be there again tomorrow morning. Nate can shoot him. So, we're still waiting for Nate to show up. Had a pretty productive day. Cooked breakfast, did some glassing, took a nap. Seth cleaned up his deer's head, um, took another nap, ate a lot of snacks and doing some more glassing. So, should be here pretty soon though, hopefully. We'll go kill another deer. He has arrived. What's up dude? How was your drive? He got him. I'm on him. I think you missed. You don't want to hear it on camera, but we do. So give us a play-by-play. -play. What was going through your head? All right, so it's the biggest buck ever. <laughs> he was at least 275 inches. Almost, you saying that small? I almost thought he was an elk. He was going to make the book for sure. Yeah, definitely. C cover page. Now, what was going through my head was the last yard I had was 160. Okay. I didn't feel like we had covered more than 10 yards in between that bush and that tree. <laughs> <laughs> Which apparently it was 50 yards. <laughs> Well, the deer covered about 30 also, yeah, so. Yeah, he cheated. Um, and yeah, it was hearing Seth tell me that the bullet would drop a ridiculous amount. So I just put it on his back, and I was like, no, I should put it in the middle. And I just put it on his back, I just put it in the middle, I just put it on his back, and finally I settled on, put it on his back. Put it somewhere in between. But either way, I mean, if you were dead nuts at 100 yards. You're dead nuts. You would have smacked him right in the back, yeah, broke his spine. And he aimed for one. Yeah, yeah. I, I aimed for literally. Yeah, but you aimed on his back. <laughs> yeah. So if your bullet hit where you aimed, it would have hit. Oh wait, hold on a second. What? I understand this now. You should have smoked him in the back. Yeah, you should have spined him. I literally put the crosshair <laughs> on his back, right? Uh -huh. So that would be the upper level of where this bullet is going to yeah. go. And so if this is his back, yeah, and these are the crosshairs. Yep. You put the horizontal crosshair level with his, the top of his back. Yeah. yeah. And Ladies I, and gentlemen, I, so the, I did not calculate buck feet. <laughs> so the, if I'm sighted in for 100 yards, uh -huh. it'll right? the bullet hits where your crosshairs the are. The bullet yeah. hits from where crosshairs are. Uh -huh. On his back. back. Oh, you guys <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Night number two. Um, we got Nate. A pretty good buck tonight. I don't know. But no luck. Uh, you can see that footage on the shot. 
Right under my light. There it goes. Did it die? Got dinner cooking. Some beef stroganoff. We don't have a lid. You're supposed to simmer. So the paper plate and the rock perfectly placed in the middle. <laughs> Boom. Money. That's a life hack right there. Yep. Write it down. Camping hack. Pro tip number He's right here. He's on him. He's on him. Okay. On the run. You dropped it. Yeah. Hey, how do you not hit him when he stands still, but you kill him on a run? Left hand, boys. <laughs> Redemption? I was like, holy shit, he's running out of the middle of So, when we came down. So, I was like, he's on it. You're like, he's right here, he's right here. <laughs> All right, guys, this is our Utah trip in a nutshell. Tagged Just out Utah, calls for a drum solo. <laughs>